join us right now is the governor of one state that needs healthcare.gov to work. We're talking about Michigan. And the governor of that great state, Rick Snyder, joins us live. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right. How's the Affordable Care Act website working in your state? Well, it's not. And we all know that. And that was one of my concerns looking at this project. I used to be in the IT industry. Gateway computer, you ran it. Yeah, so if you looked at the project they had, I had a great concern from the earliest days that they wouldn't be able to implement. So my preference would have been to do a state exchange because I ask our people, would you rather have the state doing something or the federal government doing something? And that's a pretty easy call. Sure. Uh, one of the things we've seen in other states is uh, a fraction of people are signing up for the Affordable Care Act because of the website problems, but also eligibility. So many people are eligible for Medicaid, and so they're winding up on those roles. You've actually planned, it, essentially you put a, aside a rainy day fund to pay for the future gigantic bill you're going to get. Yeah, well, we focused in on, I call it Healthy Michigan. That's what we passed in our state because the generic version wasn't good enough. In particular, what it didn't cover was wellness and preventative care. Mm -hmm. So we really focused in on that and we made a better product. We set aside dollars to pay our share when it kicks in for state contributions right. for a number of years. So we're in good shape in Michigan. Wait a minute, you're in good shape in Michigan? Well, I, I've been watching the TV news. Well, for Detroit's Michigan. bankrupt. Well, Detroit, I appreciate you asking that. Two takeaways on Detroit in particular, I'd say. First of all, when you look at the bankruptcy, think of a solution to 60 years of problems. This is right. not a new problem. We're solving the problem now. The second thing is, is the comeback of Detroit's already been going on for years. The problem's been the municipal government's lack of services. So we're solving that issue now. We've had over 12,000 jobs move into Detroit. We've had over 10 billion of investment. Young people can't even find housing. It's 95% occupancy in midtown and downtown Detroit. Is that right? And take a look at your unemployment rate. This is something that you should be proud of. In 2009, it was 14%, uh, and in August, it was 9%. Well, we're the comeback state. It's a great message, and I appreciate that. In fact, not only that, our personal incomes climbed up five states in the ranking in the last two or three years, and it's because we've really created a climate of success, and our industries are doing well. Autos, tourism, agriculture. How are you getting jobs to relocate to Michigan? Well, the first thing you want to focus on is growing jobs in Michigan. I describe it as you want to do more gardening than hunting. Right. Um, and it's really encouraging entrepreneurship. Very good. All right. Uh, Rick Snyder joined us today here live from yeah. New York City. Sir, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you.